And now, for everyone's favorite game show, it's Two What's and the Wow! The scientific game show that separates the wows from the what's. And the category for today is animals. Mindy, why don't you refresh our contestants on how the game works? You got it. Wowzers, in each of our three rounds today, Guy Raz and I will present you with three scientific statements about animals. But, and this is a big but, only one of those statements will be a true wow. The other two, just a couple of made up what? In each round, if you guess correctly, congrats, you get a point. But if you guess incorrectly, you must stop, drop, and do a ridiculous physical challenge. Okay, is everyone ready to start the game? Then let's do it. Okay, round one. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, all cats are allergic to peanuts? Or is it B, sloths can take 30 days to digest one leaf? Or is it C, miniature horses have faster heartbeats than hummingbirds? When you think you have the correct answer, shout out an animal that starts with that letter. Hey, Reggie, cue the thinking music. And time is up. It's now time to reveal the winning wow. And to do just that, joining us by phone, it's Maya from New York. Maya, tell us, what's the wow? My wow in the world is that sloths can take 30 days to digest one leaf. Winner, winner, crunchy autumn leaves for dinner. Thank you, Maya. Contestants, if you guessed the answer B, that some sloths can take up to 30 days to digest one leaf, you found the winning wow. Congratulations. I guess sloths really do everything slowly, don't they? That's right. Sloths' stomachs have multiple compartments, kind of like different rooms. This allows them to digest the tough, coarse leaves that they eat. But they do have one of the lowest metabolic rates of any mammal. That means they digest food really slowly. Now, if you guess correctly, congratulations and give yourself a point. But if you guessed incorrectly, you must stop what you're doing and dance like a space alien. OK, time to move on to round two. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, dolphins can be pink? Or is it B, porcupines and cacti are closely related? Or is it C, camels have naturally minty breath? When you think you have the correct answer, whisper it as loudly as you can. <laughs> Reggie, cue the thinking music. And time is up. And to reveal the winning wow, it's Julia from Pennsylvania. Julia, tell us, what's the wow? My wow in the world is that dolphins can be pink. Winner, winner! <laughs> That's dolphin speak for dinner! Thank you, Julia. Contestants, if you guessed the answer A, that some dolphins can be pink, you found the winning wow. Congratulations! 
We're talking about the Amazon Pink River Dolphin. And if you thought it just being pink was cool, what if I told you it actually turned pink? A color-changing dolphin? Uh Uh-huh. Do tell, Mindy. The Amazon Pink River Dolphin is actually gray when it's born and slowly turns pink with age. That's incredible. So if you guessed correctly, congratulations and give yourself a point. But if you did not guess correctly, it's time to grab your family and make a human pyramid. (laughs) Okay, well, time now to thank our sponsor. Today's show is brought to you in part by Silent Velcro. Stick things together and pull them apart in secret. Taking my shoes off will be so much more peaceful now. And taking my ears off will be too. What? What? Uh, Okay, well, uh, time for round three. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, rattlesnakes are the only snakes that don't shed their skin? Or is it B, parrots can weigh up to 30 pounds? Or is it C, koala bears aren't bears, but marsupials? When you think you have the correct answer, lock eyes with the person next to you and say it on the count of three. (laughs) Reggie, (laughs) cue the thinking music. Time is up. Let's reveal the winning wow. Please welcome by phone Moira from Ontario. Moira, tell us, what's the wow? My wow is that koala bears are actually marsupials. They're not even bears. Winner, winner, teddy bear tea parties for dinner! Thank you, Moira. Contestants, if you guess the answer C, that koala bears aren't bears but marsupials, then congratulations! Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me that koalas aren't bears? But it's in their name, koala bear! Well, a uh, pineapple isn't a pine or an apple. You're right. So what is it exactly that makes them marsupials? Well, bears and marsupials are really similar, but marsupials have their babies before those babies are fully developed. And then they carry those babies around in pouches. Ah, like a kangaroo. Exactly. Well, Wowzers, if you chose the answer C, congratulations. Give yourself a point. But if you did not guess correctly, then you must crack your knuckles until someone tells you to stop. (gasps) Who is that? That sound can mean only one thing. There's a lion in the studio? Yes, but also it's time for today's Bonker Balls bonus round. And the question for this round is, what are five things you'll wish for for your birthday 25 years from now? Well, it's always good to plan ahead. Congratulations to all of our winning wowzers on today's show. Reggie, it's time to roll out the prize generator. Is that my air purifier nailed to your prize generator, Mindy? Uh, no. I invented this machine to generate a fabulous parting gift for all of the contestants on our show. This machine is special because it spits out your prize in three different parts every time. And also, it's broken. We're still improving on the engineering design process. Oh yeah, that too. But feel free to, you know, mix, match, put all the prizes together any way you want. And with that, Reggie, Would you please do the honors and power this puppy up? All of our contestants today will be taking home their very own invisible, crooked, carbonated can of clams? Mindy, what even is that? Are the clams carbonated or crooked? Yes! Wait, but... Well, that's just about time we have for today, but before we go, we have a little steam theme challenge for you. We'd like to call it Operation Animal 
observationalist. Wowzers, we challenge you to find at least five signs or clues left by animals in your home or community. Maybe it's bird poop splattered all over a park bench. Or a ball of fur under your bed. Or a lion sleeping in your bathtub. What? And don't forget to take a photo or video. Grown-ups, you can upload pictures and videos to us at tinkercast.com slash share. And be sure to come back on Monday for a brand new episode of Wow in the World. And again on Friday for a new episode of Two What's and a Wow. Until then, keep Keep on wowing. wowing!